the round table. Gentlemen, Aye. let's broaden our minds. Lay on, gentlemen, and let them know what's what. Fire at will. It's time for action, gentlemen. Gentlemen of the round table. What's the topic of discussion? Civility, gentlemen. Always civility. Um, oh, do I have to start the show? Yeah. I usually prompt the person to pray, but I have to pray. All right, well, let's start what? the show then. Prompt to <laughs> get Five on. out of six times you do that, but yeah, but today you pray. Today, today I pray. Just talk uh, to yourself. Hey, treat yourself better than you normally treat yourself. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that. Well, I find that I am doing great, me, and thank you so much for being me, me, and amen. Uh, um, let's start over. Uh, let's start it all over. Already? All right. I smoked a vaporizer. <laughs> when? I did. I, outside, I was watching the World Cup. It was the only goddamn way to make that stupid sport exciting. Goddamn uh, fuck soccer. What a vape at. I don't want to play any sport Vapes where outside. someone with no hands could be better than me. I agree. <laughs> no, you it's still all need the hands to balance. You, the only way that would work if you no. put a fucking like, weight on the top of his head. He's got a big head full of fucking weights, no arms, and two powerful legs. If I you mean, don't have you arms, do you got a big fat head. Well, yeah, but you just got to even out the nubs. If you have yeah. even nubs, you, you got to put them arms thing? somewhere. Yeah. Put them in your head. Put in the head. I bet he's got a big old dick. Who? No arms? Yeah. No, no. Too Why heavy not? in a ball. No, no. be heavy on the top. He hadn't gotten his chance to stretch it out yet. It's probably all scrunched up in him. That's not how it works, Eddie. <laughs> Genetics. You really puberty. Think, you really think a penis grows by pulling on it a bunch? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't, Ed. Good. I was keeping. I kept on pushing mine in, and it still became massive. <laughs> I'm serious. The first time I ever jacked up, I pushed it in a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of worked. First time? Yeah, the first time. Well, it got it hard. So are you going to pray? I did. <laughs> oh, okay. This is, I thought you were going to restart. Nice Amen. Oh. oh. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the round table of gentlemen, everybody. I mean, we all know what prayers are. Dear God, whatever. Thanks for Jackie and tits and butts and stuff like that. Amen. All right. That was nice. That, that was, was nice. nice. That's maybe the nicest thing Ben's ever said to you. Yeah, my tits and my butts. <laughs> that's good. I did give you multiple butts, but uh, that's fine. Uh, all right. Welcome to the round table, everybody. Jackie's oh, yeah. here with Jackie both of her butts. Jackie's here, and I'm looking at an engine wearing a bear. Engine wearing a dead bear. Ben, ben is wearing Not a Native wearing American theme shirt with a bear, bear. And, a, and a dream catcher on it. I it, did not realize he was going to start the show off racist. Yeah. I did. I do want to clarify. I said engine is not racist. That's how they say they're, they're people. I don't think they do. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and they're always drunk. Yeah. yeah. They have to be because so they don't remember their my history. Land. Yeah. My land. Yeah. 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 Wait, what does engine mean? <laughs> are we all engines Choo -choo, then? Choo-choo, baby. Is that really why you're barefoot today? <laughs> I'm barefoot because I went to a store in Brooklyn, New York. It specifically Specialized in African American <laughs> footwear, and I thought I might be able to buy a size 14 there because it Taylor's. was a sports <laughs> because it was a sports <laughs> store, and the only thing they had for me was a not, size 12 Converse because Converse run big. And that Why? was the biggest shoe in the, uh, Converse, in the house? Converse runs big. I, it was a basketball it? store. Because Converse are like, hold on for dear life. It's like the Statue of Liberty's feet sitting here next to me, this fucking tall piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's wearing a fucking dress, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> what happened? Ed, you're here too? How you doing, buddy? What's going on? Good I, to see you, Ben. Good to see you. Thank you very much. My see foot's how, bleeding. See, guys, that's how it's done. He's not wearing shoes. <laughs> His <laughs> fucking feet are bleeding because he got punished that small shoes. I have huge I feet. Small shoes. I just no because I went to the fucking I went to the basketball Benny, store. I would have went to a different store. You should know by now if you need shoes, you just be wrapping your feet in fucking bubble tape, like how you'd move a giant statue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, how yeah, yeah. fucking tall you All are. All right, that's enough. Everyone's having a good time, but me. <laughs> Holy Lord! All right, holdenators. Ho! What happens when you stop Welcome talking? Welcome back to my domain. Get it in your brain. I just want to thank all my holdenators out there for staying dumb and staying fun. And the summer rum, baby. Oh, We're going to yeah. get fucking liquid today, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm getting fucking hairy and brown, brother. How's everything going with Unlimited Lives? You uh, talk to them all this Yeah, week? there's the beef is still on, you know, because they didn't invite me after they invited me the first time to come on the podcast. And then it's like, oh, what? You're not going to invite me again? So beef for Remains fucking chunky and fucking in between two buns. All right. <laughs> Sitting in for Kevin Bo. 
Garnett. You I'm not done you. asking for my allegiance. Uh, I mean, please. You don't have any. First of all, you shouldn't have to beg, man. All right. Well, I, I please, people, allegiance me. I love you. Uh, if you would come to my domain Ooh, and this stop is getting the desperate. <laughs> allegiance The whole point me. is that you tell him to fuck off and you say stop listening. I but don't now- like our listeners, but I like my holdenators. They're my sweet little cupcake bat piece of shit fuckers. Yeah, holdenators that turn on the podcast, but like fucking... Yeah. Put their head in the It's ground. only when yeah. they're ruining a surgery. They're busted in, they're putting on their headphones and they walk through a hospital, busted into surgery rooms and yeah. uh, ruining surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Where's yeah, the knife? Give me the knife. All my well, hold nators, man. Get tough and eat that muff. Oh, Great. Fuck. Yeah. That is really nice, and I'm so happy no we one included likes you on no the show. Likes you. And if you're gay, yeah. hey, I'm, in, I'm into that too. Great. Great. That's wonderful. So. <laughs> Sitting in for Kevin Barnett. Papa we, Riri. Papa Riri knows how to re relax. <laughs> Papa Riri. Papa this Riri. is your name, Papa Riri? Papa Riri. Riri stands for relax. And all I do not all for day retarded. is... Uh, not for retarded. Relax so much... You're retarded. I relax myself retarded, yes, and that is my liberty. <laughs> that is what I am allowed to choose. That's a good point. Yeah, I spent all day. As far as you spend a day with Papa Riri, you got to know. Yeah, he starts with his shirt butt buttoned all the way up to the top, but by the end of the day, he's got no fucking clothes on. Right. Jackie. I mean, it does seem like you would be covered in dookie. Yeah. Papa Riri is a quite a Papa disturbing Riri name. Papa Riri is an easygoing guy, and he doesn't care what kind of fucking dookie he's covered in because so no he toilet. is on a vacation from his vacation. Jackie, Ed, wow. how would you describe this shirt that Henry's I would say wearing. maybe you should button it back up. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Henry's wearing a shirt with a bunch of acorns on it. Yeah, and it's acorns. Unbuttoned and it's nice. I just I acorns like is see. solid tree cum. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. That is I feel very like I'm in light ho- Lighthouse Point, Florida. Man. Yeah, that's how I feel. Twenty fo seven. When you pop a re re. Oh, <laughs> July's coming up. That's, that's a hot great. month. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> So we'll just restart the whole opening. Uh-huh. Good Lord. Papa Riri. That's the worst character you've ever come it's up not with. not a character. No, at least Papa Riri wasn't like, Oh, no. Oh, no. Every time I try a fucking dog, the dog starts barking and my mom comes in. That's funny. That, that's funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Riri's uh, spooking me out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's a, that says a lot. Uh, all right. Andy is here. Andy, you're holding friend from way back in the day. You ready to get fired from your then. job, Andy, for being on the show? Wait. That's great. I know everyone's listening. Andy, how long have you uh, known Holden for? I did 20 years. Something 20 like that. years. And when was the first time you met him? I don't even know. Middle school, maybe. Yeah, we Not cro- memorable. We cro- Not memorable. <laughs> when we, we were on the playground. In the bathroom. Yeah, I remember we that. Got no you fight guys on showed the each other's dicks as boys? Yeah. As and bo- yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Andy, how okay. did you get to be so much more attractive than Holden, though? Didn't you Just grow by up being a dream? plastic yeah. surgery in Los Angeles. Ah, uh, it's <laughs> oh, that that's Los Angeles. Yeah, a lot of work done. <laughs> he used to be big. He used to be fat. <laughs> but Andy, we're not here to talk about you. How fat did Holden be? No, he's yeah, fine. Well, Jackie, he's, he's fine. You remember when you were fat, Andy? Good. Leave him alone. Uh, he Holden's the ugly one. He's yeah. handsome now. Right. He's beautiful. If you guys, if you listeners were here, you'd be creaming all over fucking Andy Seams right now. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'd be ankle deep in some fucking vagina juice right now. So, Andy, you were fat <laughs> growing up. You did sound like a lesbian <laughs> trucker just then. <laughs> really? Looks like one too, uh, Andy. Not you were fat. Like you were fat in middle school, and Holden was uh, attractive, <laughs> which is hilarious. Um, I don't think he was attractive. He was just skinny. No, he was yeah. skinny. I and wasn't now, even skinny back then. Right. I got skinny in college. Oh, and really? Now, what you, happened? No, actually, I got skinny up here for one year. And so, I'm fat Andy, again. at some point in your life, girls were like, "If you only looked like Holden, I would be with you." No. No. <laughs> thank God. Okay. Thank God. A, I, I've talked. Okay. I didn't kiss a girl till oh, college. Yeah. Okay. But now, now I mean, that girl was a mannequin he stole now. from the TJ Maxx. That girl was a former <laughs> Miss Arkansas. Ah. Oh, Arkansas? Yeah. It doesn't matter. She was a beaver. <laughs> she was a racist fatty. Yeah. <laughs> What were you going to say, Andy? <laughs> no, I'm in the phase now where I run into people from high school, and they go, oh, you look great, but I'm already married and have children. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Man, that must feel so good. Around. 
Yeah. When yeah, they yeah, see yeah, Holden, they say, hey, Holden, I'm already married and I have children, so we don't have to talk <laughs> at all. I am fully in love with my spouse, Holden. Okay, goodbye. I'm fucking scuba diving in some fucking pussy right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good for you, buddy. I put the goggles on. I put the fucking little squirt tube on. I'm fucking scuba diving. You're already and, sweating. Uh, oh, yeah. It's not I'm even hot. I'm my fucking bitch. Who else is yeah. here, Ben? <laughs> uh, I wish I wasn't. Can I remove myself? All right. Kellen uh, is What's here up, as well. Ben? Kellen, Kellen hey, Maloney baby. from Murder Fist. Also yeah. taught. Also Very handsome. Taught. Well, Kellen's taught the most handsome. attractive member of Murder Fist, Thanks, and there's no man. doubt I about appreciate it. appreciate that, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But you never uh, see him. But you never see him. Us, our personalities are very attractive. Oh, I actually think Kellen has a great personality. He does. He does as well. Did you receive any sexy floggings this weekend? Bang that model. You what? had sex with the yeah, model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Kellen fucked the model. Wow. Really? Well, how was he? Yeah, you know, it was all right. It was good. What, what, what does he model for? I don't know. He's just a model. He kind of. He was very thin Chocolate. of bone. I don't yeah. think that he actually hit the floor when he walked. I think he just elevated himself. Yeah. Because <laughs> they accidentally wow. gave him a very like... deep bear hug, and he he has very thin bone. Why did you hug him? You I don't know. know him. Why I was gonna him? throw him was, around there, test the waters. I was pretty <laughs> hammered. I was just I was stress testing his rib cage. Jeez. He's a model. You gotta hug a model if you see him. Stoned into another dimension. The yeah. other day, yes. <laughs> that's great. So you, he's so hot. You just see him like a, a, as like a vampire type, huh? Just yeah. floating on a cloud. You can't see him in mirrors. Wow, <laughs> good for you. And he, and he put it, put it, put it in you, or you put it in him. I mean, the details are not specific. <laughs> Doubles, huh? <laughs> Doubles. We all know Kevin or Kellen Gibbs. I we all know Kellen. Did Gibbs. you kick the field goal or did you receive the punt? We're all, <laughs> we're all MVPs receiving in the, the punt just sounds like the worst thing to do. It sounds entirely oh, too accurate. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, baby. You ready to receive the punt? <laughs> oh, God. Actually, That's I guess good. kicking a field goal would be titty fucking. Yeah, I guess what? so. Yeah. I think Why? So. Yeah. Well, you can't do that to a male the, model. The, yeah. yeah. The, oh, the touchdown? The uprisers. Yeah, no, the no, uprisers. no. Punting was more like if she just lays on her back and you try to come into her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Every great. woman has been punted before. <laughs> Daddy's huh? done it, baby. Daddy's fucking done it. I thought like it. titty fucking would be called but going like bumper car bumping. <laughs> yeah. Go redderin. <laughs> Go bumper car bumping, huh? Well, what else do they do? Did huh? you win a job at the brokerage firm is what yeah, we're, we're asking. All, we're all CEOs. <laughs> yeah, right. Yay! Kellen Maloney, the only member of Murder Fist to fuck anybody attractive. Um, I think that's oh, wonderful. Oh my God. Oh, what? You all have girlfriends and boyfriends. Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm basing the fucking sentence off of. I'm not, I'm not going in here without evidence. I can't talk about my girl anymore, man. She started listening to the podcast again. I received the texts and stuff. It's just like, uh, what is this? This what isn't going to help then, Holden. You just talked about her. She, I, I love to you and your whole essence. Uh, is right. Marcus, let's do a story. Yeah. Story. He's losing Please. his fan. Yeah, it man, doesn't you're matter. a piece of shit. <laughs> By the way, if I go to Lowe's, is there a type of scrub brush like a pussy scrubber? Because I need That's to get the juices off argument. my walls. <laughs> <laughs> like something that's you gonna just get made her mad again. <laughs> you just right. made your girlfriend mad. I need some sc kind of new Dominion. scrub brush. <laughs> yeah. It's Lexi, it's you're too good, good for Holden. <laughs> oh, my God. Lexi, oh. give up trying. Please. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, all right. Marcus, let's do a news story. A Canadian woman who parked her car on a highway to help a group of ducklings on the side of the road has been found guilty of causing the deaths of a motorcyclist and his passenger daughter who slammed into her car. Good, I hope she's punished to the fullest fucking extent. <laughs> I, th this is a story Marcus and I debated go oh, starting man. first. But it starts off a Canadian woman, and you know she's, she's just like- hot, too. Probably a beautiful, nice oh, gal. Yeah. She wants to protect- a, Yeah, she is, she's fine. Oh, she's got a yeah. fucking crow nose. Well, that's why I she wanted to protect the ducks. Nose. Yeah, that li I love li librarian nose. hot, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, she's gonna do great in fucking female prison. Yeah. All those fucking nose. Pussies just bashing into each other like a fucking car like, crash that she caught. All you gotta do is fucking. <laughs> you just gotta you find blame. her fucking gob, man. Get her fucking spraying out that fucking shit. I like this though. This is a harsh realization that Walt Disney has not painted this world, and we live in a reality where you can't just put your goddamn car in the middle of the road to save a bunch of ducks. Ducks are meant to be eaten. If they're walking across the road and yeah. they make a mistake, a couple are gonna go and a couple won't. The mom probably was probably an abortion trip. Yeah. <laughs> She wanted to lose a couple because she didn't have all the bread she needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can always get more bread. No, you can't. Not in Canada during the 
big bread shortage of 14. Think what? about that. <laughs> what is a bread <laughs> shortage? In, is that a part of the article? I do. Uh, yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, 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 that yeah. Is the mayor, the big fat yeah. uh, hey, little known no earth shatter. accident. All right, so she caused the accident. Mark has explained. Like, why doesn't the motorcycle... Is- Sounds like he was an idiot. Because they were winking at each other. Because they look so cool. Like, hey, man, yeah, cool, cool. (laughs) 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 Oh, Jenny's, help me, kill me, kill me. And then the duck comes over and starts pecking at his fucking face while he's dying. (laughs) (laughs) Give her death sentence. (laughs) No, don't give her the death (laughs) sentence. Emma Zornabaz. Don't have it in Canada anyway. Was convicted by a jury on Friday on two counts of criminal negligence causing death, a charge that carries a maximum life sentence, and two counts of dangerous driving causing death which comes with a maximum of 14 years in jail so they turned oh a corner Lord. right yeah so they turned so they didn't well, have a chance to see her yeah roy's motorcycle slammed into zorna Baj's car which was stopped in the left lane of a provincial highway south of montreal in 2010 zorna Baj, a self-professed animal lover told the court that she did not see the ducklings mother anywhere and planned to capture them and take them home she's a thief yeah. She's she wanted to capture them and take them home. She was this is a, feed she's a sociopath. I mean, well, she's just there's Cinderella isn't real. You can't right. go talk to the ducks and the ducks are going to be your fucking babies. They're ducks. People. She just probably needed help with her sewing business and thought they knew how to make a couple of sh- uh, dresses and things. Mm. People in pathetic. Canada are so nice that they're murdering people. They are. <laughs> Murdered out of kindness. But this is just sheer stupidity. Yep. Jackie, I mean, what do you think? You love the ducks. I love the fucking ducks and the mama wasn't there. They didn't know how to get across the street. <laughs> they walk, you gotta walk, just walk across the street. There was a thing called natural selection. If yeah. these ducks wandered into a highway, that is mama nana. That is Mother Nature in Papariri <laughs> talk. Mama Papariri. Your shirt. <laughs> mama Nama. Mama Nama. No. And yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go with it. They, those ducks. <laughs> you love this? She put those ducks on the highway to get killed. No, your fucking Mama Nana Whoa, isn't hold real. On. You're dumb. That took forever. By the way, <laughs> um, and that was the sentence. Was she put the ducks on the highway? Yeah, that Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Mama you got it. You got it. Mother, m- Mother Nature was the hammer in the fucking redhead's hand that murdered all yeah. those ducks. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, so Mother Nature needs to be ducks. put on trial in Canada and serve a life sentence well, for what killing about two the people. Ducks? I mean, send <gasps> fucking ducks to death. It's their fault. Oh God. Well, that's a good Penny hopes are already oh, dead. Say it. Hopefully they ended up in a curry because nothing is more delicious <laughs> than a roasted duck curry. That sounds gross. It's yeah. too slimy for curry. I don't like duck, man. I'm not into eating that shit. You're you stupid. It slides right down your fucking thick nah, ass throat. Uh, by tangy. the way, I just want to say a fly just <laughs> oh. landed on the round table ta- uh, the round table table <laughs> and it just died. It is uh, uh, laying is on it its dead? back. That that is is oh my God. Oh my God. It died of booze. I just watched the last just died. <laughs> oh my lord it's gigantic oh no it's one so squatted it I've never I, seen anything like it I don't know what happened I watched oh, it's, it's final kicking. movements it, it freaked out really quick and then it seemed like it saw the light and I it became it peaceful I earlier it could be delayed what happened try and lift it up maybe it's wings are just stuck on the beer there I think it's dead <laughs> I think it's dead I think dead. it gave up don't touch it Marcus well, look don't touch it. it there might be a motorcycle coming blow in oh. its mouth <laughs> <laughs> let me give yeah. it CPR Quick, yeah, give someone before it's Officially dead. <laughs> Fuck Hen- in the ass. Henry, give it CPR. Oh, 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 it. Oh, it. It. All right. Well, it's here, not here, a here, visual. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. No, no, Don't on. you oh. dare. <laughs> No. Oh, oh, Andy, what are you, some oh, kind of mom? Andy? All right, leave the bug. Oh, no. All right, so Andy has picked up the bug now. With Thanks the a lot, floor. Ranger oh, Rick. Oh, oh, now it gets alive. to die on the floor like Elvis. And now it's dying. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's had a no, peanut butter. Elvis and died uh, like every other fly on, in a toilet. <laughs> yeah, but peanut butter <laughs> and banana sandwich. And, yeah, I'm just no, kind of. You know what? You know what I call Let's that? Let's all piss on it. No, I don't, Andy. we can't I fill this room with this smell. <laughs> but I definitely think that that is an example of the circle of life, and I think that Mama Nana really appreciates I, I, the right. fact yeah. that it died. That was a sacrifice for Papa Riri from Mama Nana. Yeah. <laughs> Mama yeah. Nana and Papa Riri are the two worst WWE characters ever created. <laughs> can we name him? Can we name him Biggie? Yeah. What's this? Here we go. We got some music. Oh. No! Jason Lars has just entered the studio. Jason Lars, very interesting. Jason Lars, Eddie, give me video. Signs, McNeil, McNeil. He's got a series of signs drawn 
one on a piece of construction paper. Some of these signs say McFeely can McFeely this balls. Jason signs is hashtag unlimited a bunch of signs. I've never seen anything like this. That's right. Unlimited Live is invading the round table, gentlemen. I want to tell all the whole invaders to suck my fat cock. Well, I like my big old balls. And if you want to be nice, if you want to be kind, you got to go with Unlimited Live. That is, that is unheard of. I did the Lord. Took his pants off. Oh my god! What's the scar from? Where was oh. the music coming from? Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? How's the podcast going? It's going, it's going good. 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 good, Jason. I got a, um, I got I, a microphone over here for you. I would you like to one. take <laughs> issue with the fact that Holden wears satin boxers. Yeah. yeah <laughs> all right. First of Careful all, when you sit on that chair. First of all, if you get them wet. Your balls sit in like a comfy, like wet hammock. I just want to hold up and read some of the cue cards that Jason signs. There's created. signs. There's signs by signs. Signs by oh, signs. Signs by wow, signs. Wow, Holden <laughs> sucks. Hashtag unlimited love. I take yeah. umbrage to that. Holden is a big old fag. Explanation point. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> unlimited lives. Wow. Great sign. Something <laughs> worse than a big can old Mc fag. Feely my balls. McNeely, yeah. McNeely. Can Hashtag unlimited Mc lives. Unbelievable. And of course, this one's for you, Jackie. Holden. No. Yeah. Yeah. no! Very good. Oh, oh wow. The beef the is best. real. Unlimited <laughs> lies more like unlimited bad cast. Oh, no. Yikes. Oh, no. I, one of us has to support our guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do. I thought that was good. I mean, I want to be. Do you want to support? Do you want to get on the beef train, Ben? Oh. I don't participate do in any of the, the children's holders? antics. <laughs> No, yeah, that's no. the thing. You have to get. You have to be like a holdenator. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be a holdenator. You Say it, be a hold, it sounds like you want to be a holdenator. Say it with yeah, me, Ben. Ho. Oh, oh, can I be with somebody who sweats fucking bizarre bacon grease and wants to fuck his mom, or can I be with a bunch of dorks who play video games and don't fuck? I'll take that as uh, a ho. I'm going to be myself again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be Ben Kissel again? for always. Yeah. You're back. Yeah. <laughs> no, Unlimited Lives is a great podcast. Thanks, man. Thanks, thanks for thanks. coming to the show. It's an honor to have you here. Oh my god. This this is unfucking real. <laughs> you have always said about what are you guys going to do on my it's funeral? Real. Burn my casket? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, burn my casket! Burn his 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 casket. Burn his casket. Yeah. Oh, wow. Holden, it's an invasion. It's a takeover. You leave that sewing machine alone, Holden. Oh, Holden. Why is there a sewing machine in It doesn't matter why there's a sewing machine. They're going to reupholster the couch. Oh, good. All right. Well, Jason, would you like to hang out for the episode? I would love go back to. I've been listening to the episodes. I've been hearing the beef. I had to come and show my face. I'd love to be a part of the podcast and shit on holding. You see how we allow yeah. you to be a guest on the show. Yes. Yeah. See, like, it's like a good book. Like I invited him. So oh, and times. then oh, oh, but we can't do six o'clock. No, we do at five o'clock. Oh, our moms won't let us do six o'clock. Yeah. It's it's actually Marcus. Which yeah, is a, we which do is five o'clock so I can make it to practice and on I'm, time. You piece of shit. Yeah, yeah beef that it. we're in together. <laughs> <laughs> so this is yeah. not working out well for Holden. No, uh, no it's uh, the whole world to change. That's I'm right. We were holding. Jason, schedule. before I'm you scared. Jason, before you came in, we were discussing a woman who parked her car. Across the highway, in order to s save a bunch of uh, ducklings walking across the street, a motorcyclist with a, with a companion on board hit her car, and they both died. So she was just sentenced uh, yeah, to prison. Life in prison. It was a father and son duo motorcycle. Father and daughter. Yeah. But father thank God, life. the ducks are fine. Okay. But the ducks are fine. So the motorcyclist have, died. In yeah, the yeah. Passenger? and her father. Yeah, yeah. he had the, they're they were in one of those sidecars like Sean Connery and in Indiana Jones. In a related story, uh, <laughs> when Jason walked in, he stepped on the fly. I was trying to save. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that fly. Perfect. So we also had a fly, have unlimited lives. fly on the table and just died. Yep. Yeah. A, fl a, a fly, fly stood uh, on the table and died. Yeah. We've recounted everything that we have just done. We should do this every show. It's, it's a good mid-show mid recap. Yeah. Uh, I think the show just started about 10 minutes ago. Uh, Is that a good uh, endorsement for your show that animals and insects come in here and die? <laughs> <laughs> it is for this show, actually. It's fucking metal, man. Um, yeah. All right, Marcus. Well, let's start Jason off with a brand new news story. It. All right. We got <laughs> goat news. Hey! Goat news. Hey! I'm going to eat a football because I don't know what food is because I'm a goat. Hi, I'm Holden. It's I'm a goat. 
<laughs> a man who fell 40, 40 meters down a cliff while chasing a wild goat says he's lucky to be alive. Yeah, he is fucking <laughs> lucky to be alive. <laughs> Never chase goats down mountains. And I don't like the way they, they classify this goat as wild. Isn't he wild? Well, isn't it the dumb shit who chased the random goat that fell off a fucking cliff, the wild one? Well, yeah. he says, the man said the trouble began just after breakfast on Tuesday morning at the farm in Tanjoyo, north I hate of when Napier. when fucking goats fuck with me in the morning. They were just outside. <laughs> so are homeless, fucking with me. Are homeless people wild people? People are wild. You know, I mean, I, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. The fr free range people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what we can start calling them because they're not kept in cages and they yeah. eat nothing but fucking whatever they can find. Maybe we should put them in cages. Well, there's, there's we do a, if a, when they often. misbehave. Yeah, it's called jail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said, "I looked out the window and saw goats on our land. I thought I'd caught catch my stepdaughter a goat because it's her birthday soon." <laughs> oh, oh, that's crazy. Right. Wow. I mean, they haven't Hurt. seen each other for years, so showing up with a live fucking goat as a <laughs> yeah. gift is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not like a satanic uh, sacrifice usually or anything like that. It's a nice gift for also, a young girl. What a lazy asshole to wait the day of to get your stepdaughter a gift. Yeah, to go back. Catch a fucking goat. You get you go, you walk out of your house being like, hope I can fucking see a goat on yep. the street. Or I've got nothing for my stepdaughter's fucking birthday. Yeah, well, Bert, it's not Bert, his real did, daughter. Bert, did you get your stepdaughter a birthday gift yet? No, no, I'm waiting to see a goat. <laughs> I'm looking out the window all day. Haven't yeah. seen a birthday present yet. No, I haven't seen one yet. So yeah, she's yeah. trying to catch birds, but like birds can fucking fly. They fly away. Yeah. So uh, I have to bring this up with the speaking of goats. Um, so Marcus wanted to go see this black metal band called Watain yeah. in Brooklyn last Sunday, and we didn't end up going because we were tired. We'll talk about this though. The cow man, uh, you guys are doing great. You guys played the Northside Festival. Yeah. yeah. And the Northside Festival, a great festival here in Brooklyn, and. And uh, this band was headlining one of the shows. It, they were playing, yeah, they were playing like a block away from us. We didn't. I hope go. they were headlining and no one had to follow them. Yeah, no, yeah, no, they no. They were, yeah, they yeah. were a black metal band, <laughs> and they took a goat, a hollowed out goat's head, filled it with rancid pig's blood, hung it above the audience on a rope, and swung it around them like a pendulum. Pig's blood goes everywhere, all Old. over the audience. People start puking. The health inspector gets called because they serve food there. And Watain is no longer uh, is banned for life from the Brooklyn Bazaar. That's it. God, That's I it. wish I would have gone to that fucking it show. It sounds like a hell of a damn you show, see, though. It's like one of those shows that I would love to have like stuck my head in me and like, what the fuck's going on in there? And then just never go in there. <laughs> oh, you yeah. can't walk in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I had, you, I had a similar time here at the Crawfish Boil. What? I was kidding. <laughs> and, he, and he came back here to eat crawfish. The Creek in the Cave is still a very good restaurant. They Come do. to the restaurant. No pig's they, blood here. No, no great pig's blood. But still a good restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we, uh, we made a funny sign, though, so it's all okay. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's all politics. That's all political. There's it is no so hard to get that. an A in this city. I got an A this week. Hey. Round of applause for Eddie Larson getting his fucking yeah. A. Come on, yeah. applaud. I earned it. <laughs> <laughs> I kept it clean and I got my A. A stands for anal, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kellen got that too. <laughs> uh, I pick it, up. I pick it up where I can get it. <laughs> Not bad. But yeah, great. Be band. happy for me. I did it. I do, you, oh, did you, oh, the job that you don't want to have, but you have because our careers aren't going very well. You did well at it. I am honorful. What's new? Honor, <laughs> you are honorful. Matter. That's what it, that's like. Oh, that is the most it. drunk He's way to celebrate it. something. <laughs> What's new in the news, Marcus? Folks uh. are getting dragged down mountains so they can gift gifts to little girls. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So this guy. Do they call it news because it's new? Yeah. Okay. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop that. Why would you bring that back up? <laughs> Do they Good just God. put an S at the end because it's always new? It's the news. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be weird if they called it like Bogo or something. Yeah, that yeah, would be weird. That would it be would be in a totally in a totally different world, a word, uh, but then it doesn't exist. We gonna start calling history the olds. Yeah, let's no. call it olds. Why wouldn't they call it the olds? I'm make it with. simple so I can understand this. I'm upset. Instead of a hand, why wouldn't they call it five of it? Yeah. <laughs> because you're, well, what, but hold it. What if you've only got like three of it? Yeah. I guess that's what you call it's it. Three of it. The stump lends a three. If I had a time machine, I'd go back in time to the where the cavemen were that were making up words yeah. and fix this shit. We wouldn't yeah, be doing man. a podcast. We'd still be cave people. We take <laughs> eggs, call eggs chicken rocks.
Yeah. <laughs> Roundies. <laughs> we'll call them ovalons. Ovalons. <laughs> Chicken rocks work. Depends on what country you're in. Trees, you call that umbrella stick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you first have to understand what an umbrella is. Umbrella. Is. Yeah, you have to have an umbrella <laughs> first. So in, your, in, your, trees. in your world in but, history, we got the umbrella. We got the crank system, the buttons, be, and, and steel. I think that's a good Buddhist cone, which came first, the tree or the umbrella. <laughs> I think it was the tree. The tree. Yeah. Uh, maybe, but it would be the keep keep from rain stick. Yeah, you know? Because you would call it a keep right. from rain. Now you just sound like a drunk Native American. <laughs> all right. Leave the natives alone. You mean all Native Americans? Come on, dead people. Bears. Good God. I think we officially left them alone and we killed them. <laughs> well, I don't know if that was when we left them alone. That's, but, that's, there's uh, a difference between left alone and left only three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we can all laugh Science, about it you now. Indian? Uh, no, um, but South American, Bolivian. My dad's Bolivian. Bolivian? Yeah, so wow. cocaine. Yeah. That's a good one. Cocaine, good man. One. Cocaine, Did we your people too? weed. Did we kill your people too? I'm no, sorry. no, we they killed they each other down there. We're pretty good the at past The Spanish the took care of that. Is that where yeah. arepas come from? Arepas, si, and uh, pupusas. You like those? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. like I like both of those because they both sound kind of like sex. Yeah. Yeah, they do. A rapa what sounds like that? sex to one you. One is wanted and one is not. So <laughs> it's called an Italian marriage. That's the other way you could do this. It's like, oh, oh I take a Sonia and a rapa. Andy uh, Grosso, very clearly Italian. Very Italian. <laughs> yeah. well, you know what does he's talking rape about. Does happen though? a lot in your home country? It actually I does. Know. It's a, a sad <laughs> It's, it's a worldwide. It's a yeah. They, they it have a groping a, problem in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. You say problem, anymore, Marcus. Was the president was <laughs> doing it. Yeah. Either way, so this fella didn't die when he tried no. to chase the ghost uh, goat for his stepdaughter. He said huh? as he pursued a goat on the side of a hill, he lost his footing. He said, I forgot there was a drop. I slid straight <laughs> off. He flipped and cartwheeled down the hill like a rag doll, hitting boulders on the way. He said, I just kept going. I landed on a boulder on my side which cartwheeled me over and I smashed my face on the next boulder. Finally, he broke the fall with his leg and his sister-in-law rescued him after 10 minutes of screaming. So what did he get his, uh, yeah. what did he get his stepdaughter? A bunch of fucking rocks? <laughs> it sounds like it. Do you, I don't, he didn't, you don't break a fall with your leg. You, like something breaks your fall. The yeah. Boulder he just fall. stopped falling. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah some, the leg broke. Yeah. That's what happened. That's yeah. not how you. That's not. That's yeah, not the, the leg. Like falling. That's yeah. some soul yeah, survivor the leg break shit, fall. man. But have you watched like Planet Earth? Mama I've seen it to tear, Mama right? Nana's yeah. favorite show. <laughs> yeah. Mama Nana, showrunner of Planet Earth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's sick. laughs> but, yeah. but she went to like, high school with David Attenborough. You watch like Panthers trying to catch those goats. The goats can go up like a vertical... That's the thing. thing. Goats have thing. incredible climbing abilities. That's what the guy fucked up on. Also, goats can shoot webs out of their hooves <laughs> and dangle between rocks yeah. and buildings. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like... Down. Spider-Man. And every goat can say one word in English. They're always a different word, but it's always just one word. It's usually hey. <laughs> hey! That's actually true. Hello. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, but I've, I've seen, I've seen one say brown girl. <laughs> That's, That's two, two words. No, no, no. They put it together and made it one. It's a hyphenated yeah. word. Yeah, it's hyphenated. <laughs> yeah. That's only in South American goats. It was, yeah. it was two goats talking to each other. Yeah. Hey. Girl. Hey, brown girl, brown, brown girl, brown girl, brown girl, brown girl. <laughs> There's a lot of goats down in Flashbush, a Flatbush Boulevard, I hear, just saying, hey, Are brown they? girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah save, save those jokes for unlimited life. <laughs> Holy Lord, what's wrong with you? I, I can only hear bad jokes married. from my friends. I, I, I want to make a baked potato theme podcast called Unlimited Chives. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. You're I can't deal with it. What's wrong with you today, Henry? What are you talking about? Unlimited chimes, Mama. I'm only the way. First of all, yeah, it's Papa Riri. Papa Riri, Mama, Mama Nana. Papa Riri is only the way that Mama Nana made him. Mm. Yes. Oh, he's losing buttons by the minute. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Not by choice, though. Yeah. 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 No, his, his belly is popping open his shirt. Yeah, one of us is gonna lose an eye. Yep. Well, like, the man who fell down the cliff said he no longer wanted to catch a goat for his stepdaughter. He said, no, I'm not after a goat. We'll just be going to McDonald's now. That's the other, that's the trade-off, a Happy Meal or a yeah. goat? So he's going to eat goat. Yeah. Maybe he they have goat at, at McDonald's in New Zealand. 
They do? Maybe. I can see. Let's I look bet. at the menu, brother. But yeah. I bet you it's a bigger reward over there in New Zealand to go to McDonald's. It's probably a bit, bit more of a high-class restaurant. I mean, here, they're everywhere, but other places are quite a novelty. I don't think it's high-class. <laughs> it's New Zealand. There is nothing high-class. That's not true. Yeah, New Zealand is what is the highest? Hobbiton, Hobbiton is Hobbiton. there. Yeah, Hobbiton they live with very high good. Class. That's yeah, not real. They live in trees. No, but they it's live underground. Yeah, yeah, it's fake. And they got fantasy. No, gay no, no, dudes no. with magical eyes that fucking shoot arrows everywhere. Kellen, is that, that is true? New Zealand. Totally. That is true. Okay, yeah. we have a conf- confirmation from Kellen. Famous. Okay, yeah. talking trees. They got Minas Tirith. What's that? The Lord of the Rings reference? Yeah. They fill them. <laughs> they have nothing but a book that somebody wrote about them who was never actually there. It was from Samwise was in love with that like chubby Hobbit woman, and I always kind of had a sexual fantasy oh, about man. it. I banged the yeah. fuck out of that. Oh, yeah. you fantasized about a chubby gal? Yeah. Mm. Every day. All hobbits are chubby. You know, in New Zealand, they fill their pies with blood. Really? It's not yeah. so bad. Blood pie. Mm. Blood they should pie. take that blood to a blood drive. And send it to us because of 9 11. Papa Riri. <laughs> Papa Riri, Jesus. you are crazy. Papa Riri's getting edgy. <laughs> I like what Papa Riri what, keeps it on the download. Do, He's getting edgy. What did the folks in New Zealand have to do with 9 11? I'm just saying, you got all this you know. fucking extra blood enough to make fucking pies out of it. You should be sending it for our fucking soldiers. But it's, it's animals' blood. You can't give What are you going to give a bunch of uh, human put, soldiers horse blood? Yeah. They're going to fucking go crazy. Is that true? New yeah, Zealand released a newspaper about Kennedy being assassinated before he was assassinated. It's because there's a Conspiracy. time difference. <laughs> also, the, if you do believe they that did. the moon landing was shot, they do believe it was shot in a soundstage in Australia. No, which is different it was Las than, Vegas. What? It was in Nevada. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're right. Now, I always get those confused. Jackie's a resident expert on the, the fake moon landing. Outside of Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. Where And why they did they do that? they gambling on how stupid America was. I mean, That's it looked great. great. <laughs> if they did fake the moon landing, thank you. Why is the beautiful. flag doing the thing that it does, though? What flag? An astronaut should be tinier. Marcus, <laughs> what's a different story? I've got a different story. Although, Although I do think astronauts should be tinier, just so when they see the alien yeah, creatures, they, they be can like realize. Jockeys. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. So we can fit more of them. Yeah, yeah, ten of them, fifteen of them up there. <laughs> oh, we gotta go invade these places. Yeah, 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 Not yeah, just yeah, investigate. Yeah. We gotta get a hold of Dinklage's fucking stem cells, make nine of him, and shoot him to fucking Send Mars. Send a bunch of kings up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. two a bunch of plays. Be great. <laughs> then they come down to then they come to America. They come to the United States. They come to the world thinking they can conquer us because they think that we're all the size of Peter Dinklage, and they also think, oh, we're very good actors. Yeah. But they don't realize we're big brutes who love to murder. Great and then switch. we switch. So we want to change NASA into a traveling theater troupe. Yes. 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 To okay. entice the aliens Comprise to come here so then we can murder people. them and then we can own the fucking universe. We already yeah. said the monkeys. Why don't we send the rest of the, the crew up there? God damn yeah. Those fucking clowns. <laughs> we got monkeys, monkeys, man. Monkeys are up there. They're hanging out. They're still up there? Can't wait. Oh, well, they're dead. I would just wait, be very see. concerned with having a bunch of monkeys in what is appears to be space shuttles full of very sensitive technology. No, but you never know what they're going to do with it. Yeah. You know, you can't get That's a good point, a Henry. And the cable. <laughs> That's why they rip out their eyes and put them on drugs. Yeah. Mama <laughs> Nana made dolphins be the first spacefaring alien. That's what she wanted. Yeah. Mama Nana wanted a creature that can't breathe oxygen to be the first, which actually makes yes. sense. That's what I'm saying. If you get them out of here. It does so if you, get, if you get a, if you take, if you take, if you take a creature that doesn't necessarily need a bunch of oxygen, but just a little oxygen, and and throw them out into the world, uh, you know, into the uh, atmosphere there. Can they survive a little while? Dolphins don't adapt? breathe. I'm sure. They don't breathe. Yes. Dolphins, no, they, they don't breathe. They right. collect coins. That's how they live. <laughs> That's from a video game. You're, You're about thinking echo. about a You're terrible, terrible echo. Yes. echo yes. Yeah, thank you, Unlimited Live. Anytime, that was Echo from the Sega Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> there to save game. the park game. Good game. There Henry, save the day. what does Mama Nana look like? Mama Nana <laughs> is, um, she got, she got big breasts. And don't describe yourself. She's, She's <laughs> she's brown from the eyebrows to the top of her scalp. Like right? a mountain. Like a mountain. But then her eyes, Chinese. Mm-hmm. Mouth, supple like an Italian. Wait, why mm. Chinese? Because Chinese are very wise. He doesn't know yes. why. He's just describing her. I'm just describing all. her. Yeah. Big old bottom. Going. Africant. Africant. Ever come? Whoa! <laughs> she looks like so far he's just describing Gaia. From, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's all, the, yeah. Video yes. games. Is all yeah, you it's, think yeah, of. it's yeah. from it's from Captain Planet. Mm. Yeah. And her butt was playing hot for teacher. Yeah. 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 
Got it back. Next news story. Right. Yeah. Sounds yeah. great. <laughs> Nearly five years after a woman was charged with killing her 100-year-old roommate in a Massachusetts nursing home, a second-degree murder charge is still pending against her at the age of 102. Ooh. Oh, man. Man. Lock that bitch up. Yeah. Didn't we cover this years ago? Shit, we might have when it first came around. I think we did. Laura Lundquist, diagnosed with dementia, was deemed incompetent to stand trial after she was charged with strangling Elizabeth Barrow, who was found in her bed with a plastic bag tied around her head. Man, she must have been real fucking annoying. <laughs> totally. If the gal from dementia, uh, with dementia got annoyed with you, I mean, the voices in her head alone must, uh, you would think, would drive out, like, or drown out most, like, human uh, talk and things. You gotta kill people when they're living with you. Do you can't leave this like, woman alone. Do you think she, like, fucked her lover? She had, like, a 25-year-old boy that would come and, like, clean her feet every day. Hell yeah. Could like, be. Every yeah. night, you know, Maybe like, not. come and he'd lay with her and press her clitoris. Yeah. There's a lot of sex in these places, yeah. yeah. And then that one one day, he, he like, woke up and he was doing the same thing to the other one. Yeah. So she was, like... like bra um, he was, like, braiding her nipples. Yeah, because they're long and chewed up. Yeah. Yeah. It was either that or she changed the channel in the TV room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been that, Jason. It might have been that. That's for sure. Mm, yeah, I feel like this is, but this is one of the uh, perks of being old, right? You always get to say what you want to say. You can be like a little bit more racist. You can be like a little bit more like, get out of my way, a little bit ruder. Maybe you get to murder. If you're over 100, she was 102. The gal she killed was 100. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. She after is. 60, you can be racist. After 70, after 60, you can tell people to get out of your way. After 70, you can be racist. And then from there, a hundred, you, you can start to kill. You after a hundred, you should be allowed one legal kill. Yeah, but she was ninety eight when she killed her roommate. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. big problem. My here. other question too Thank is God. like, it takes a lot of effort to strangle somebody. Well, she used a to... plastic bag. She just put a plastic bag over her head and she oh, the, and the gal yeah, couldn't get it nap. off. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. just thought she was a sandwich. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not her fault. Esther, I made you a new hat. <laughs> yeah. like, no, it goes down further. Yeah. Further. We, we Oh, well, now your neck's gonna be cold. Put it down there. Put it down yeah. there and go to your fucking death, you bitch. <laughs> you bitch. Maybe it's it was raining man. outside. If you have a plastic uh, bag put over your head and you can't remove that bag, I don't think you were murdered. I think that you killed yourself. That's you, that's on you. Well, they're saying that this isn't gonna go to trial. They're just Thank gonna God. wait for her to yeah, die. How do you not stand... Why can't she go to trial? I mean, she's gonna be... <laughs> she's gonna she's die with the trial. She's 102. I mean, I get it, but she she, she was there for the tough. Japanese the camps and the Holocaust. Put a and this, bag on and her this head. woman that tried to save the <laughs> ducks. If she can pull it off, she is, gets to be free. The woman that tried to save the ducks is going to jail for life. Well, she she <laughs> should. She killed like a valid, real like person. Badass <laughs> motorcycle dude. Right. A badass mo motorcycle dude with daughter his daughter. <laughs> she wasn't driving the motorcycle. <laughs> Girls can't ride motorcycles. Whoa! Or drive. Whoa! What is wrong with you? <laughs> no. An eight-year-old girl can't ride a, drive a motorcycle. An eight-year-old girl? That's who died. I think an eight-year-old no, girl was 16. Could, whatever. A 16-year-old. Well, I guess I think that. 18 good. or 16, a woman could do anything she wants, whether it's to be a princess of a kingdom or it's to be a cave woman. They can't be a princess. Of, what, what kingdom? Because you have cheerleaders, Henry. Don't forget cable cheerleaders. Woman. Yeah. I'm just saying anything that they want. Mama they, Nana? Mama Nana chose woman to have <laughs> egg sacs inside of her, so so most egg precious. <laughs> True. If a woman chooses to be a cave woman, she's homeless. I'm gonna get you addicted to a heroin or something like that. We gotta get we gotta get rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the woman, the reason why she killed her, in her paranoia, she believed that Elizabeth Barrow, her roommate, was trying to take over the room they shared at the nursing home. She Hell probably yeah. was. Yeah. That's like Changes fucking prison rules. Yeah, yeah, she told, uh, Lundquist told Barrow that she would soon get her bed by the window because she would outlive her. <laughs> I mean, these are malicious words when, when you're at this age. Mm -hmm. Jackie, what do you she think? Whose side time. are you on? I think anyone over the age of 70 should be put to death, so... <laughs> Jackie, that's not a thing. You can't just put them all to death. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's no reason Hillary Clinton's 68. She might be president. Let them kill each other off. Have, over put them in a fucking ring. Let them have, like, they fuck each other to death. Yeah. And then also strangle each other. Do whatever you that's fucking want. I don't so want you want, it. like, the worst fight club, a geriatric, geriatric fight club. Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll all fucking kill each other or they're going to die of starvation. That would actually be a much better than the actual Hunger Games. Yeah. Right? People. People fighting yeah. it out. Yeah. Old. And the top five get to continue living. Yeah. They get passed, but the rest are dead. Well, you tell them they can continue living, and then on, during the big congratulations yeah. ceremony, you fucking <laughs> pop them in the back of the That's head. The thing. You <laughs> can't let them live. They're obviously.
obviously <laughs> sociopaths. They're all Dick Cheney's. I mean, yeah, you have to kill him at that point. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, Scott Barrow said he asked nursing home staff to separate his mother and Lundquist, but they assured him the two were getting along. He said his mother did not want to leave the room because she and her husband have lived there together before he died in 2007. So that means and then this after woman her came husband in and died, an awful bitty with uh, dementia moved in, replaced her husband, told her that you're going to die and I'm taking your bed by the window. And then that's how she ended her life. And that's what happens. And that's, so what the, you, that's how you fucking get God. So yeah. who won? The, so the so the gal won. The widow. The widow's she the did. one that murdered her, right? Yeah. No, no, no. The widow is the one that got murdered. Oh, really? oh so yeah. she was but she killed. She has dementia, though. You can't. I mean, oh, it doesn't sound like she has dementia if she pre-planned to uh, get the gal's bed by the window. Well, she just told her that she would outlive her. They say that she didn't premeditate because they say well, you in can't her premeditate state of mind, dementia. It, would, it would be like uh, prosecuting a two-year-old. <laughs> they would probably <laughs> do that nowadays, though. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, if I if I get reincarnated, I'd like to come back as a worm that shoots poison out of its ass. But <laughs> then also that's... out of its face because you can't tell the difference between the two. That's great. That's good. I think Thank it's you. what you already are. Mm, zing. Have you been reincarnated? Yes. Oh, very I good. was once a god named Gnu. <laughs> 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 Fucking dumbass Hindu god that was like, oh, what are you talking about? They were like, <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I remember that. <laughs> I was one of your followers. <laughs> How were you killed? Yeah. <laughs> oh, stabbed 27,000 times. 27,000, <laughs> yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of thousands. Absolutely, yeah. I tried to uh, fuck all the other gods, and they weren't having it. They weren't happy with yeah. you. Yeah. Gods wouldn't have it. No, no. They weren't happy. It. Little little stabs, I guess, huh? Yeah. What, what they wouldn't the- let you arepa them. <laughs> Cheese him up in the box. So, uh, beavers or bears? <laughs> I'll tell you. What do you guys want? Next story. I want bears. Uh-huh. You want bears? Yeah. You want bears? Yeah, it's about my sex tape, right? Uh-huh. All right. Well, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake that bear. Well, uh-huh. the club of fellatio loving animals <laughs> just gained a new member. Do a big old Bears. Uh, I'm Aww. sorry. I just, I, did, I, I just remembered I had that vaporizer. That's why that, that was funny there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm not like. You guys got to pay attention. Bears are blowing each other. All right. Yeah, bears yeah. are blowing Go each other. Ahead. Okay. Scientists have observed uh, a pair of male brown bears in captivity in Croatia that regularly regularly engaged in oral sex over several years. Hell yeah. Marcus, Hi. can you get a, pull up a bear's cock? I need to see the image. Hey, boo-boo. <laughs> He's jerking in off. The shining. Hey, yeah, yeah keep it in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> oh, that's not, what's in that picnic basket? Hey, you know what it is? It's my cock. It's my cock. <laughs> yeah. Ranger there Rick is just watching, playing with himself. <laughs> There it is. Oh, there yeah. it is. Okay, relatively oh. normal looking cock. I actually I think kind of it bigger. I expect it bigger as well. Yeah. Oh, and it's they got all... a baculum, just like my raccoon baculum. Oh. Here. Fantastic, Marcus. You know, bear bear dicks though have barb hairs on them that yeah. grip into the bear vagina, Ooh. so it could shoot its fucking. Whoa. Quit getting me horny, man. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what did you think the bear cock looked like, Jason? Uh, I thought the bear cock looked like uh, it looked really good. <laughs> that's so funny. It was just really good. It looked like a really good dick. A really nice. Yeah, it's a good yeah. bad dick. Like a, you wanted to put a, like a, a pasta sauce on there, cook it up a little nice bit. Nice pasta sauce. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of looks like a slim jim. Al dente. It did, oh, yeah, it was very adult. Oh, yeah. It didn't look like beef jerky. It looked like hanging beef jerky. I was yeah. I was expecting larger though, Jackie. Oh, what do you yeah. think? Out of Marcus, all... you got to show everyone that no, picture. No, this picture of, the of Henry. Sitting, yeah, no, the... Marcus. Oh, it's me. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's loving on this. It's me so watching happy. Netflix right there. <laughs> yeah, Dude, that looks like a human yeah, dick. Go to the Roundtable Facebook page to see the picture that we're looking. I mean, at. we're not that genetically uh, different than the bears, and I think our penises, when it comes to our DNA, we're about hundred percent right there. You look yeah. so happy. Well, while yeah, the creatures, like well, why the gay yeah, bears? Jack, what do you think? Do you like this? Would you say bear dick, donkey dick, or horse cock? Bears. Oh, bears. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Also, man, a bear would be fun to fuck. You think mm. so? Yeah. The but cuddly. Before you fucking get mauled to death. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> yeah. Mama Nana does put a strict warning against humans fucking bears. <laughs> but she like. says at the same time, life does find a way. <laughs> yeah, and man. she wrote that into the Jurassic Park script. She was a ghostwriter on Steven Spielberg's Jurassic wow. Park. She wasn't. She, she's the mo- she's Mother Nature. That's Mama Nana. But she Mama wasn't Nana. able to get a head writing job. No, 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 no. She was not a part of the unit. Yeah. She was a good <laughs> Oh, so yeah. she couldn't get into the WGA? Because <laughs> she was dead. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's very hard to get in that. I don't know if you've... <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Mother Nature can't get in. Yes, 
Well, the two unrelated male bears in the study were orphans. Well, at least they, they weren't were fucking related. Okay, Thank incest. God it yeah, was yeah, an incest. Yeah, yeah. But they were orphans. Hey, they bro, were orphans. Bro. Okay, well, they're lonely. <gasps> orphans yep. all blow each other. It's hard they're just getting that's each other off. Really true. True. You've yeah, seen it really true. You've all seen it. Oh, yeah, man. They don't have parents. They don't have parents. They don't know what's right, what's it's wrong. A big they blow each other. <laughs> I, mean, I can't spend more than five minutes in an orphanage without fucking someone coming up to me. Yeah, yeah. see two little the boys sweet. fucking 69 Ma- each other. Marcus, You're like, come Marcus, on, orphans, it was get back mutual? to cleaning the floors. Yeah. Marcus, mm. it was mutual. They do. That's well, considerate. Let me, let me get into this. All right, I do kind of want science to sing that song a little bit it's more. It's a big hard cock for me. Wow. It's a big hard oh cock my God. for me. <laughs> I love that cock in my mouth. You take me home, I'll suck your cock. Man, I wish it's I was an orphan. Cock. This Let's is bring nice. Bring all the orphans yeah. home. All the orphans. Oh, please, like can I have <laughs> some more? Some more of my straight fucking hot jism, little boy. I thought I thought this performance of Annie was just different than I remember, but I thought it was still very creative. It's almost like we're doing bad shit for him, adopting him. We should let him all be in there sucking and fucking each other. Sucking. Yeah, fuck. I think the STD rates are high, and that's what sad. Newsies was all about. Ed, Ed switched to Oliver because it's gay bears we're talking about here. Yeah, Andy, <laughs> Andy, close Oliver close twisted. to when it happened in college, you saw. A 9 11 musical. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does. Did you just like play like Pink Pink Floyd, like uh, what is this? I wasn't Wall doing song? This. No, I you went and saw. You went and there saw. was a 9 11 musical going on. I forget what it was called. With dancing right buildings, right? And I literally I walked Jesus. in. I'm going to watch like my friend's show that he's written and <laughs> produced and directed. And I sit down, and the first two characters to walk on stage are the buildings. Excellent. Oh, no. Is your Where did it? my brother go? <laughs> I'm standing here oh, by no. myself. Oh no! I wish that Holy I could. shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a piano, I'm a piano, I'm a dirty, dirty pain. But in and the, then the second plane, act, no, we no, reveal no. that George the W. Bush did in. it. The plane came in down the center aisle, and I walked out. I couldn't watch it. Oh, oh, he walked out. I left. And he's like, I've already seen this once. <laughs> I know how it is. God damn. Was your, was your friend the landlord that the dude had in the Big Lebowski? <laughs> it sounds like a similar play he might put on after 9-11. It was insane. <laughs> That's great, Four though. Four stars. <laughs> it sounds perfect. And people were, a lot of people were walking out, right? I don't like, think people left. Oh, people really? Yeah, but people were, yeah, pissed. <laughs> it was a full-blown. It was like a two-hour musical. I think it sounds amazing. Jeez, was it a comedy? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I mean, and this was like 9 12, 2011 that he brought it out? This was like 2002. Yeah. Or 2003. It was, oh, yeah. It was like what if they got a busker's right license and took it to the 9 11 museum? Oh, <laughs> oh my oh God. God. They just like did it right outside. Oh, Illegally here had comes to. the plane. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Ed, you right. went to the museum. It was very upsetting. I went. It was, it was very upsetting. The 9/11 yeah, it wasn't museum. funny. No, I didn't laugh once. Mm. Watch, well, I, I did. There was a. <laughs> it was kind of funny stuff. There was some humor. There was there. one long one throughout the whole thing. Just a 20 yeah. minute long laugh. My mother was just like, that's horrible. Everyone's just like sitting there crying and being all quiet. She's like, those bastards. <laughs> 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 yes, mom. Yes, yes. Mama Larson, good woman. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> well, over the course of six years and 116 hours of observation time, scientists witnessed 28 acts of fellatio between the two male bears. Oh, Who are they? And how was the time period? Uh, uh, let's see here. Over uh, six years. Oh. Yeah. How, who are these pervert That's fucking yeah. scientists? Croatians. Exactly. Thank right. you. I, Please. I mean, after you watch the bears blow themselves once, can't you just like conclude that they blow themselves? No, no, no. they're blowing or they each, blow each other. other the larger it is. bear was always the one to receive fellatio. Well, in How Croatia, long they do we keep this secret? <laughs> <laughs> Let's so just one question. more day. One more day. Yeah, and most times he came. Not every time. Wait, the little oh, one didn't get blown. No, just oh. the big one. Oh god. Oh, yeah, I heard in Croatia, suicide is very. Uh, uh, a big deal because uh, most Croatians think that guns are popsicles. Because <laughs> they're fucking dumb idiots over there. And oh, they, I see. I didn't God, know I can't wait to watch you get ripped apart by a bunch of Croatians. They're, I, just, gonna, they're just so strong. There's, they're the biggest. That might be true, though. I don't know. There's, uh, there's a lot of drowning deaths because they think that water is just a different kind of oxygen. 
because hmm. they're fucking idiots. <laughs> it is kind of. Is right? Croatia like a race? That's like multiple countries of people. No, it's just, no it's just one. It's well, one yeah. big piece You're thinking of, of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yeah, that's what I'm oh. thinking. Oh. Yeah. Was he thinking of, Wolf, thinking Kellen, of. were you thinking of Bosnia and Herzegovina? Really? Are they called Croatians or Croats? Croats, Croatians, whatever. So do these bears do like poppers? <laughs> Before starting, no man, they're just animals. They just love to, yeah. to, to suck. He says that uh, the bear does reach an orgasm from the sex act, as evidenced by mus- muscular contractions and fluids on the muzzle of the provider. That and is fun. on the oh, muzzle. So the guy's blowing him he with a muzzle. Swallow. No, that's literally what their face is. Their face, yeah, the, the, the tip of their. It's the oh, muscle, thank yeah. God! Still I thought there was a whole here. thing in the air yeah. with the with yeah, the muzzle were, and the and when tied the, themselves up in whips and holy kinky stuff. Yeah. They're oh, German they're bears. Leather. Oh my god. And goodness. when the deed was done, the bigger bear often pushed the provider off with his hind legs or turned away. Yep. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, Just like a yeah. fucking big fat man. Man. <laughs> most Cro- the same. Most Croatian this. babies think that their penis is a third useless leg, so they end up ripping it off before adulthood. Huh. Here's, I did not know that. Here's a real weird know. detail. The provider was always the one who instigated it. Who wrote this article saying the provider? Where did the provider come from? Yeah, why didn't they call it the little fucking slut? <laughs> no, the, the provider is the one who comes, right? Who's bear. the provider? Who's the provider? <laughs> the bear. Awful way the to no, I know. The little one or the big one? The little one. The blower. The, the, one, one, the one who the blower. blower. The one with the mouth. What an service. awful... Uh, oh, I see, because I would argue the semen is the prov- the provision. Yeah. 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 That's the boar's head. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, so question. either one could be the provider. What's who to eat the... Of course no, they eat it. They're a fucking the bear. Yeah. No, it's on the it's muzzle. So it like pulled it out and like shot it all over its face? Yeah. Like it's a J- Jesse Jane? Now why Jesse would... Jesse Jane. <laughs> Jesse Jane. So why, would, why would Mama Nana allow this? Mama Nana knows that, you know... We all have holes. And we all have long, long sticks mm-hmm. in between our legs. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, let, let him play. Let him play. <laughs> Every time they go, Mama Nana, the bears are, are blowing each other. She's like, let him play all my children. This is an African accent that you have going. Yeah, on. that's offensive, Jackie. That is he offensive. said African earlier. I know, but it's still offensive. It's still offensive. I don't yeah. take responsibility for African. <laughs> I give it to you. <laughs> there you go. Jackie owns it. I'm sorry, Jackie. I'm sorry, Jackie. 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 It's on you. Come it's not on. good. Why would you say something like that? That's fucked up. <laughs> Unbelievably <laughs> rude. <laughs> Unbelievably. <laughs> so, uh, so, so it got all over the... Hell, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These yeah, gay yeah, bears. No, no, I'll, I'll, I will be buried in this fucking earth before I let them get married. That's right. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. They'll get so married. They shouldn't be married. Well, they say a possible explanation for this is that the bears were very young when they were forced to stop suckling their mothers. Yeah, so they start sucking that dick. Yeah, an activity that only provides How? milk, or not only provides milk, but also bonding and comfort for at least the first year of the life. And for the provider in this study, fellatio could be a relic of this infantile That's behavior. That's what I told my Why mother to? too. <laughs> yeah, I think Why these do bears... you have to come up with the answer for that? Yeah, could it just weird. be that like blowjobs feel good? But, yeah. yeah. But, oh, you come, you feel good. Females quick. will give fellatio, but there's no like questioning that who the fact that that female like bears a homosexual is th- you have to like find a route to it well but like- female uh, cheetahs are known to lick their partner's genitals during a courtship ritual. But and Holden, but do you no, like, agree with that? There's no breastfeeding explanation behind it. It's just the way that they get there's off. There's no bears eating pussy. Yeah. Well, there's definitely, there's <laughs> bears, they're animals, male to male animals that fuck yeah, each like, other. But fellatio is... Like, peaches when he was growing up? Fellatio is like, odd among bears. I've been saying it over and over. In The Shining, like we watched this years ago. Absolutely. Is bears love going down? Going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is my... Yeah, yeah but why, why weren't you also watching for bears Licking the other bear's pussies. What, what do you know. think? What do you think, Kellen? What do you think about this? We got some homophobia in the study. You I don't think, think it's homophobia. I just think that, like, why search for an answer? They're just getting each other off. Yeah, like, why? Why reach fun? deeper? They These found are, a thing that was really enjoyable for each yeah, other, and like, they yeah. started yeah. doing it. Two smartest bears in the world. Holden, were you kicked off? Or Kellen, were you kicked off the teat early? 
Jesus, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't that know. That, that's what they're saying. So we yeah. study yeah. animals to better understand tip, ourselves. Tip, like, combat homosexuality. You that's what they're saying. I sucked my mother's tip? teeth until I was to three years old, and I am not gay. Both of my older brothers that's are, and the they solution. stopped. Three years, years old. Ben? I was large, and, and both I, your brothers are, and they stopped early. They stopped early. That's yeah. really that is fucking. What about lesbians? No, 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 no. I could not. I could not breastfeed at all because of the muscular problem in my mouth. <laughs> and, I, and I am a straight. That's why you're a theater as a actor. Snake. <laughs> that's why. You, yeah. That's why you know all those, know all those show I tunes. And I sucked my mom's tits yeah. last night, and I'm still kind of gay. Yeah. I was pretty old when uh, when I stopped. Right? Yeah, you, I mean, what? you're supposed to go until you're like roughly 17, yeah, as 18 soon as, out of the house. The best. As soon as baby starts getting hard <laughs> from it, you, you push him away. Yeah, you push your gear out of each other. Yeah, once he's, yeah well, as soon as you start like disgusting. driving up to your mother's house and. No, best why is everyone what? nodding? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but never. It's good for the mother. Marcus, the Marcus, no female data. No, no, no uh, female data. No. All that, the only females are the uh, the heterosexual cheetah uh, licking of the uh, genitals. That's also, it. bonobos give each other blowjobs to ease social tension. But just yeah. for fun, yeah. What's and what's a bonobo? Yeah. Social tension. Bonobo's a monkey. That's yeah. how that was. We should start doing with the debates, like presidential debates. When one starts getting mad at the other, yeah. they start eating each other. Fucking hell! All right, yeah, 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 All right yeah, yeah. Senator, calm down. Whoever come comes first like loses. Jizz <laughs> 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 on the crackers for president. I'm down with that. Yeah. Oh, and Chinese fruit bats also blow each other. Oh my God, Hillary Clinton's gonna become president. <laughs> all kinds of animals blow each other. Who yeah. fucking knows? Yeah, it's it's natural, baby. Blow each other. You I can't wait till we get the There's compilation. Nothing. Why do you of that? have to? How many years did they study this? Like. <laughs> Yeah. All you have to do is see it once and be like, oh, yeah, everyone does this. No, they, yeah. <laughs> they loved seeing it. Yeah. Let's they give loved, some privacy. This yeah. is the problem. Is also, they did not know that bears had the muscles to smile until this study as well. Because <laughs> <laughs> they discovered the bears is going back. And they're like, if you oh, happen yeah. to hand or a the bear, ability to put correct. both their hands behind their head and lean <laughs> right. back. Or high five. I just can't believe it didn't <laughs> chew its dick off. These were obviously two humans in bear costumes in yeah. the middle. Hey, let's well, imagine he scientists. just licks the dick. Oh, just lick the dick. Yeah. like it's, yeah, it's not sucking it. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't real, have like its paw around the fucking yeah. shaft. It's, it's not fucking like, working, working it. Balls. Yeah. You can't because <laughs> the the, the briars. Bear have balls. <laughs> Marcus, does the bear have balls? Playing with its balls. <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking oh, choke, oh, choke oh, on it. Look at me. Look at me. I feel like this is important. <laughs> That's where the further research is needed, Henry. That's where we are, we're needed That's to go out in the fields and science. see. My other question is, do scientists fucking blow each other? Yeah. yeah. Well, I want to see who's that watching study. them. Who's <laughs> <laughs> watching the watchers? <laughs> and he just shows up into the lab and is being like, I'm here to decide how often fucking scientists start eating each other out. So get to living normal. I'm just going to be sitting here in the corner. And now it's time for a segment from Holden McNeil. <laughs> Let's make soccer more interesting no. or Mexican football for all you we tied, fucking laymen tied, out by there. The way. Is this a live thing? We're tied? No, no, it's not live, live at Andy. All. There's We're no possible way. Here, yes. All right. Well, we, it well it's over. Final. Final? It's a draw. They tied? tied? I see. There you go. Would rather lose. Per moving my point forward, that let, let's find a way to make soccer more interesting. You can't end on a tie. Would be a really good one. This I will start. Those fucking Portuguese could speak to the refs down there in Brazil. Those cockeyed fucks. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know about their eyes, Eddie. <laughs> that, is just, that is absurdly racist <laughs> against the Portuguese. I'm so That's glad why. none of you know my last name. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. This is actually oh. relatively tame. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say attach a raccoon to the ball. Yeah, <laughs> let it. So the ball has a life of its own. It's moving around. <laughs> it's moving around real fast, you know. So you really got to catch it, you yeah. know, and get it in there. But you know, I think also if the uh, other team can lure it into the goal with food, <laughs> that would be a part of the sport. So you got food out there. Put a trash can. Yeah, put a trash. Trash can in the goal. If you can get a trash can behind the goalie, 
You know, which would be pretty easy. Is there I a think. limit to how much food you can put in your net? <laughs> Honestly, I, I think until we hit some serious issues with it, we're going to allow all food reasonable possible. That's okay. the, it's half the goalie's job is to get the food out of the net. Yeah, to get the food out of the nest. Now the goalie actually has something to do for like most of the game as opposed to the five seconds that Fucking it actually four saves and you're a genius and you're the best soccer player in the world? You did it four times in, one, in, in 90 minutes? There you go. We're That's trying mine. to make it more interesting. There you go. Henry, what are, you, what are you doing? Okay, so first of all, I think that maybe what we should do is, for each team, they go to their most dangerous supermax prison, right, and choose each World Cup team from a, a select few of the most d d degradable rapists and murderers, mm -hmm. right? Choose them to be the soccer team, right? Then give the goalie. The goalie is a police officer in full uniform. <laughs> With a hose, a super powered <laughs> fire hose. And so the idea is that he uses the hose to defend the goal and also can arrest them, shortening certain members of the team. This is really so, changing the game. I'm just saying if they become if they start raping the audience, that's a yellow card. <laughs> if they that's murder a member of the audience, that's a red card. They got to go back to the Supermax prison. Okay. So you gotta see a people given freedom the first time in years. And they have to <laughs> sort of hold back their Fucking natural intentions, which is to rape and murder everybody, and learn to play soccer well. Are we talking public executions? <clears throat> I mean, there will be normal executions, but the, mostly I think it's just going to be fun to see people getting blasted by the host. Because the big thing is, is that you keep those goalies slash police officers pretty fucking lit. <laughs> so that they will just start shooting people randomly with the host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's All what right. you kind of is, there any, is there any uh, reward for winning? Uh, they all go back to jail. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. What I was but the Supermax prison Parole. gets a new electric chair <laughs> from that country. And can I say make also, sure you die the first you, time. Yes. <laughs> One pizza party to the winners. Sure, they get it. They all get a slice of pizza. All right, there you go. <laughs> I was actually thinking of food. Yeah. Yep. Well, what's your what's your foodie food? Competitive eating uh, meets soccer. So you get a salami, you get a piece of pizza, you get a whole cereal. Everybody has one food that they have to eat and consume the most of. From the their entire. native country? So maybe from their native country. I think it's or it's actually it. from the opposing country. Yeah, so they ah, get yeah. disgusted by yes. it. And so that's a, that way they have something to do with their fucking hands. Everybody loves uh, cheeseburgers. Well, can they eat how many during a game, <laughs> and they better have a big fucking number because that's taken into account throughout yeah, the game. It's hard with so that you're bread, constantly man. eating, you're constantly running, you're constantly kicking the stupid fucking ball around, and the entire time, if a goalie is not being busy, he's got hot chicken wings, the hottest chicken wings <laughs> that human beings can possibly eat, and there's a chicken wing competition going on on either side of the field. In the middle, there's another competitive food competition happening, plus the game of soccer, and Landmines. I love it. <laughs> Great. Landmines is fantastic. That's my I, favorite part. I There's love four landmines. Yeah. All right. Just so, four? Just four. Do they, if one, when one gets set off... Uh, All the other three can still go off at any time. All right. But they, do they replace them when they get set off? No. That's how you know where to go safely. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Andy, what do you got for us? Just shorten the field. Well, that's real. <laughs> that's a great answer. I fucking, honestly, Marcus, let him win. That is sort of the most obvious real. Yeah. Make the goals bigger and shorten the field. <laughs> just, yeah. it'd be, add a few more players. It's just chaos. And, and you're like, the goals are 10 feet away from each other. Yeah. Girls with their tits out. Yeah. No, you can't that's, go back. Someone else yeah, can say that. Yeah, that's not, that's not on the record. Andy, you're allowed to say girls with their tits out. And of course, girls with their tits out. Oh, wow, yeah. great idea. Yeah, really good. Good. Jackie with her nice tits and I butt. Say, I don't care butts. who wins. I just hope soccer gets more interesting. Oh, <laughs> I want to say, I want to, I want to say a combination of the past two. It's a culinary field. It's a, if you're Italian, it's a pasta field. Ooh. <laughs> you know, it's so all, a hamburger it's all based, field. Yeah, it's all mixed together. So in and you're all like hanging out. Yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> like dirt, it's just sadness and dirt, you know. It's it's based on and you mix it together. So one side of the field is like, uh, so it's mush. like cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Exactly, Aww. yeah. And like, and then you got to eat your way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. girls with their. I love it. Very. Good. I love. It. Are there ca cartoon characters involved? Yeah. All right, <laughs> Jackie. I'm gonna go and throw it out there. I don't know much about the game. Okay. None of us do. Who gives right, a shit? Good. It sucks. I'm gonna say as you go forward, every team you beat. You murder them and you have to wear their skin that as actually you happens. play. That already happens. See, Does that really racist. happen? Pretty much. No, no, no. It's I want so the tight real skin. Though. So as they go forward, they so have more a lot and more skin skins the because they have to be really fucking good <laughs> if they want to get the ball in the tiny fucking hole. If you beat a team that already has a few skins, do you gain their skins? 
Yes. So then the winner gets all the skins? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you're the best. You got all those fucking skins But the whole point on. of the sport is that it's supposed to like no, no simulate skins. war, but with like Yeah, peace. yeah, and then on top of the goal net, you got a fucking girl. She got her tits out. She got a fucking pussy out. Yeah. <laughs> and she's pointing at it. That's great. And she's pointing That's at the real at point it. Point at what if they I kick the ball it? onto her? What if the ball hits There's her no pussy? Goalie. What happens? They, they, you get they, 10 it. points. All right. Yeah. So he ball hits come back from that. But the thing is, you get the girls from the team that you beat because you enslave all the women in their country. Oh. So you own those women. That's you can more do whatever exciting. you want with them. That is more exciting. Also, we'll throw a slip and slide in the middle. So, <laughs> okay. Because they're hot. Very good. I think really slip and slide is technically a different game, though, inside the game. Slip and slide is the middle. And if yeah, you wanna... that's the fast lane. If you can get the ball to the fast lane, slide with the ball down it, you're upfield in a second. Yeah, you upfield. Right. Okay. Jason, what's yours? Uh... I think you. I think all the the players should not wear shorts, just naked from the waist down. Okay. Fuck, yeah. So their balls Dickie are swinging. The are they so hard? Would love so they wear the shirts, yeah, but they're they're not hard. They don't have to be hard. I mean, okay. they can be if they want. I bet it's they're a, hard. It's hard to be hard during a uh, yeah. You're running around. I don't think yeah. you'd be hard. You don't you don't get hard when you guys run around. No. no, no, you got you get wet when guys run around and look good. Yeah, I also yeah. don't. Yeah. I also don't. So anyways, around. their balls are hanging. That's the thing. Their <laughs> balls are hanging. So all the guys' balls have to be shaved. They often have to be shaved. They have to paint little soccer balls on them. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they all got little soccer nice. balls. So you're not really and... sure where's the ball. Exactly. Oh, camouflage. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So so and then you shrink the ball, the regular size soccer ball, to the size of a testicle. Wow. So now you're shooting the little testicle ball around the field. Also, the the, the balls are swinging in between. The legs, so you don't know where the ball is going. And if you hit the the soccer ball into the goalie's nutsack, another ten points for that. Okay. Like okay. Oh, nice. It seems more difficult to see the ball, though. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. It's very. very it's just like a, It's yeah. like playing hacky sack. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a hacky snitch. sack. Ball. I also yeah. forgot to mention that all the players are shrunk down, so they're like little people. Okay. And the goals are two women spread eagle. They're big pussies. <laughs> all right. And so they're playing in between two girls spread eagle, like in a diamond fountain, you know, with their so legs. So it's like, honey, I shrunk the kids, but then honey, I blew up the kids with yes, the pussies. Can exactly. you the kids? Can you answer me this though? Is a falcon involved in some way? A falcon? No. Yes. No. No, no falcon. But no. an ant. It would is. steal the ball. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, ants. The ants are referee. Ants are referees, and they run around. They oh, wear the little scary. jerseys on. Yeah. yeah I love that. I'd watch soccer. Right. Unlimited lives. <laughs> Unlimited lives. Ed Larson. I mean, I got two different ideas. I don't know which one to pick. Why you both? Combine them, man. Uh, I'll try to combine them. Uh, right. First thing is a lot of barbecue. Oh shit, that's my phone. That's, that's your phone app. playing a that's, video game yeah. sound? You didn't turn off the fucking video game ringer? I want to make on a your podcast phone called before you Unlimited can. Limes that is about limes. There's not a li unlimited uh, limes. There's a lime shortage right now, and I really wish you would be sensitive about it. Use up sure. the last of yeah. the limes. Use them up, everyone. Get a lime, fucking throw it in a trash. Where am I going to get my lime? <laughs> Ed Larson. The limes right. are the beginning so basically, of the I'm saying of society. The decline has come. The limes are the first casualty. We are... Unlimited sh limes. Marcus, Thank you, you, Lord do the, you do the news. That is the news, Ben. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Fuck you. You're the old. All right. We're what? getting barbecued and we're cutting off their hands. All Here right. we go. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. What what you you say Marcus? no hands? I say let's fucking do it. What are you doing, Marcus? Um, as much as I love that, fuck. I think the one that I would watch the most out of all of them that I think would make this the best game... Raccoon ball. Oh. Really? Yeah. I can't believe it. Hold Naders for life. No. Oh, you uh, throat uh, suckers uh, out there. Uh, Unlimited lives. All right, Jackie, Eddie, Holden. Uh, thanks for being here, Henry, Jason, Sides, Woo! Unlimited Lives, and Callen. All right, guys. Jason, that was a great entrance, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Good Give job. Very nice. I have prop. I have condolences, but that's fine. I'm at Go Ben Kissel on Twitter. Marcus, don't ask me to soccer. If you squish the ball down into like an oval and then you hike it to a person, he throws it to another guy. Make it football. 
they get like right. pads and Henry helmets and shit. Yeah, 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 they shorten the It's like more. It's really like yard system shorter. Yeah, yeah, advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you take out the net and you replace it with a big metal pole. It's We love you, Ethiopia. Actually, Eddie wins. Hold him, take it away from you, Eddie wins. What? Yeah. Yeah, suck it. Suck it, Paris.